Hello Cook County, this is Dr. Farshman and as part of our outreach to talk a little bit more about this COVID-19 and, and how we're responding to it, I just wanted to share a little bit more information about how viruses spread in a community. Over here is the situation that we are used to. The dots represent people. The green circles represent, represent people who are immune to the disease. That's either because they've had the disease and now have the antibodies and are protected from it, or they've been immunized. It just means that they will not get the disease if they're exposed. And so if one person brings it into the community, they can spread it to one person, but they can't spread it here because that person won't get infected. And then they can set it here, but they can't spread it to these other people because they're protected. And so it trickles through the community like this, and we may get some spread, but there's, there's only so much that can happen because there's the immunity in the community. You may remember this graph. This is the graph of how, the virus, uh, how a virus grows in a community. This dotted line represents what our healthcare system can handle before it gets overwhelmed. Normally when this happens, this does not get anywhere close to that. And then maybe it's the, if this is the influenza, the season runs through and then it comes down and runs its course. That's not to say some of these people don't get very sick. It is to say though that we had the hospital beds and the equipment we needed to take care of them. This situation here, and there's a lot better design graphics out there, but this one represents a community where we have a virus that no one is immune to. There is no protection here. And we know that COVID-19 spreads to at least two people from one person, typically more. This will represent as if it only spreads to two people. So one person spreads it to two, two to four, and so on. And you can see that the system gets hit pretty hard, pretty quick. This is exponential growth. This is what we're talking about when it hits suddenly and it just explodes and comes up and then comes down. And in the case of COVID-19, as soon as we cross this line, this means that we no longer have hospital beds and ventilators that can save lives that, um, that we would lose as soon as this goes up and on beyond. Now you hear a lot about social distancing. I'm not specifically going to talk about social distancing, but social distancing is one of the things that can help slow this down. What I want to talk to you a little bit now are the things that we are trying to do and we are ready to do in the community. Um, you may have heard about quarantine. Quarantine talks about when somebody is coming from a high-risk area, let's say you're coming from an area like New York City or Washington State or China or one of the areas where there is a lot of this. If this person here identifies themselves as coming from a high-risk area, they may, they're carrying the virus but they don't have symptoms yet, but they notify somebody at the clinic or the county that I'm coming from a high-risk area and we have them quarantined. They have just saved everybody below them from getting sick. Let's say this person here, let's say this person here started getting sick with symptoms of COVID-19. They contacted the clinic and they told us what they were going through, we were able to tell them that, okay, right now we want you to isolate at home, we're going to get you tested. If we can do that, we identify that they have this COVID-19, so we know that this person has it, part of the process that we go through then is we identify any of their contacts that may have the virus but are not yet sick, and we then quarantine these people as well. By doing that, they have saved all of these people, all of their family members and loved ones and neighbors from getting sick. And now, we still have some spread and we know that's going to happen, but now it looks like this. And that's what we mean when we slow the curve. And we know that this is going to stretch our system, 
but we hope to keep it under that curve. This is how we do that. So, if you know you're coming from a high-risk area, please contact the clinic. If you know that you are starting to come down with symptoms that you think might be COVID-19, we want to test you, and we want to implement these strategies to slow the curve. These are part of what it takes to get ahead of this virus. Thank you for all that you're doing. We know that there's a lot of sacrifices being made in the community, but we also know that this is a very serious illness and a very serious pandemic. We want to help you do this. These are systems we have in place. Please help us to protect you and your community so you can do the right thing. Thank you.